things, fellow brethren and sisters. Let me be honest with you. Um, I did some research and I found out the Christians were correct. The Christians were correct. It is the reason for this season. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare in Rome. Let heaven and nature sing. Let heaven and nature sing. Let heaven and heaven and nature sing. Let me be honest with you. Um, there's no time like Christmas. No time. It's the most wonderful time that one could ever think about. Um, things used to be nice when I worship and fellowship during the Christmas season. But now, since I turned to this Hebrew, Israelite, pagan stuff, things not working out. Then I realized something is wrong. I started to research and I found out that Christmas is actually the birthday of the Lord. Okay? Of course I'm joking, Israel. Shalom Aleichem. Well, today's study is about the pagan practice of Christmas. Yes, December 25th is the birth of the Lord. What Lord? The pagan Nimrod slash Tammuz. Well, we're going to look at the history real quick. It started in 3000 BCE. That's over 5000 years ago. There was a family that they called the quote-unquote holy family, the Trinity which was based upon um, Nimrod, the S-U-N slash sun god, and his mother Semiramis, and the reincarnated belief of Tammuz. Now what happened was this. As time goes by, Nimrod, he was a mighty hunter upon the face of the earth. Very mighty. You read this in Genesis 10, or Bereshi 10, and it tells you about Nimrod. Now who was Nimrod? He was the great, great grandson of Noah. Now, he started out good. He was a worshipper of the Almighty, yeah. But then pride gets to his head, his fame, because he was very famous as a world leader and a world hunter. Now, what happened? Um, he went into hiding because um, Shem was still living at the time, and Shem was searching for him for all the abomination that Nimrod was doing. He was leading the pe Nimrod was leading the people into the occult, okay? So he went underground and started to hide. That's where we get the term, the occult, from, which means hidden. He went underground, he was hidden. But, as the saying goes, he could only hide so much. He was finally found and caught up by Shem, and he was killed, and his body parts were hacked to pieces. Now, history told us, and legend, that his followers, they went and gathered his body parts, and they buried him into a grave. Now... What, according to the history books and the legend, from his grave, an evergreen tree sprang up. That was the origin of the, um, the history of the observant of the Christmas tree. Why? Because the pagans believed that out of this tree, Nimrod's spirit came. So therefore, on the 25th of December, people um, celebrate this from ancient time to commemorate the memory of Nimrod in that tree. As a matter of fact, the ancient Israelites got caught up into this pagan practice because it was worldwide. And what happened in Jeremiah 10, and you could read it, the Almighty told Israel, Jeremiah 10 from about 1 to about 7 or further down, the Almighty told Jeremiah to warn the Israelites not to take part in this pagan practice. Whereas they'll go into the tree, they'll cut down the evergreen tree, they'll take into their house, decorate it, put it on stand. Now, those decorations on the trees, they are very significant. If you notice, they'll have like a lot of balls on them, circle. Those circles symbolize two main deities. The moon, which is known as the moon goddess Ashtoreth, which is another name for Semiramis. And the other ball symbolizes um, Nimrod, was as, which was known as the sun god or slash incarnate. In, um, um, in, um, what do you call it? Uh, reincarnation of Tammuz. Now, the, the belief of this was this. Before Nimrod died, his mother was pregnant for him. He didn't live to see his son. He died when he was killed by Shem. 
What happened after his death? This is what happened. The ancient pagans used to worship the sun, S-U-N, in the sky. Now the mother uses astrology to her advantage to gain more popularity in the pagan world. What happened on, on, on the 21st of December, even to the, today, haven't changed, the sun is further away from the earth, making the nights longer. So what happened? The pagans used to fear that the sun will not return because the S-U-N is the source of life, meaning without the sun, S-U-N in the sky, we would not have food, warmth, we, we couldn't live. So they used to be fearful that the sun will not return. So they'll do human sacrifice so that the sun will return. She used this at her advantage. What happened? The unborn child that was in her womb, she told the pagan world that this unborn child was Nimrod, who went up and to become the sun god, S-U-N in the sky. Now what happened? On the 25th of December, the sun is closer back to the earth. It so happened that her son Tammuz was born on the 25th of December. So she told the occult world that Nimrod, the sun god, has been reincarnated in the form of Tammuz. Now that's why people celebrate the 25th of December and call it the birth of the sun. But what sun? Actually it was the S-U-N, okay, incarnated in Tammuz. Now what makes this so ironic is this. After Tammuz was born, he lived for only 40 years. He was nothing like his father Nimrod. As a matter of fact, he was killed by a wild boar, a wild hog. When he was killed, um, his followers, they mourned for him for 40 days. This is where they, term the, they coined the term Lent from, that the Catholic Church picked up from the pagans. What happened is this, for 40 days, they'll mourn the death of Nimrod. Each day symbolizes um, a year of his life. So 40 years he lived, that was 40 days. That's why today they have that 40 days of Lent. Now what happened on December 25th, they'll eat a pig, a ham, a boar, the hog, as a protest, as a symbol of the um, animal that killed their deity. This is where they coined the term Christmas ham from, believe it or not. Um, also, very important, um, you could find this in many historical books, but my most favorite is The Two Babylons by S. Hislop. S as in Sam, period, H as in Harry, I as in Ink, um, S as in Sam, L as in Lollipop, O as in Onion, P as in Paul, S is Hislop. He went over Babylon, over in Iraq, modern day Iraq, and he did archaeological research with other archaeologists, and they decorate, they document, they document all these facts that prove all these historical facts that what happened in ancient Babylon, okay? There are many other books, the um, fossilized customs also um, document this also. One last thing before I go, it's also very important to realize that on the 25th of December during this season, if you notice people put a wreath in the form of a circle on their door. Now think about this, the same wreath is what they put on a coffin to show that it symbolizes the dead are dead. Why? Because it started the tree, evergreen tree, from the grave of Nimrod, okay, the sun god. So what happened, it's, that's why they, today they still put it on coffins and graves. Now why will somebody be putting that on their door? Think about it. They are actually observing and entertaining the spirit of death. Nimrod, the sun god, paganism. Deuteronomy 7.26, the Almighty said, Do not bring an abomination inside of your house or you will bring a curse to it, okay? People stop bringing those pagan custom things inside of your homes. It is not good, okay? Do your research, do your research. Deuteronomy 6, 4, teach that we should teach these things to our children diligently, the truth, not the pagan customs. We have to teach them the truth, okay? And until then, may Abba Yahweh bless you and guide you and be safe. Shalom Aleichem.